Right, so uh, this uh, is to be a Pisces Sun, Moon, I'm as well rising, a weekly tarot reading 24th of February to March 1st, uh, 2020. And uh, as usual, guys, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below and uh, there you're going to find a link to my website from which you can uh, purchase one reading and as soon as the purchase goes through i'm going to contact you for the details how the reading is going to uh, take place now that set aside uh moving into the pisces reading for the week now the first card which it's uh, representing the topic of your week guys we do have the seven at uh, the uh, the nine of pentacles i'm sorry Followed by the next one here, which represents the energies that are uh, influencing and feeding up the situation. Uh, that is to be the nine of wands. The third card here represents the challenges that you will have to overcome throughout the week here. That is to be the full card. Standing next is going to be gifts and blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week. That is to be the king of cups. Now, very, very important one here in this reading. Followed by the next one here, which is how people are going to take on you, what kind of a uh, uh, an impression you're going to leave into those rounds. Uh, we do have uh, the Temperance card and the last one here, which uh, represents the guidance that uh, Taro is offering uh, to you and how you should approach all that. Uh, that is to be the Page of uh, Wands. All right, so uh, what we do have, it's a very interesting week for you, Pisces, and it looks like that throughout this week, some rearrangements are going to start taking place. Um, I would uh, classify them changes, although they're not going to be that severe changes. And the best the best thing about these changes happening with those two cards here, and particularly with the energy around, it is that you will have total control over them. As a matter of fact, you are going to be the very source of those changes, meaning that that, you know, you consciously are going to, for example, change your schedule, change your routine, change the way how you, you know, perform into career or into relationship. And that will clear a lot of room for you, especially when you are, uh, your life is stifled by many pointless enterprises and many chores, for example, that simply does not breed any results whatsoever. And so what we do see here, it's some, some sort of a purge or or clearing, if you will, like a, a spring cleaning, all right, uh, into uh, into your environment, career-wise or either relationship-wise. Now, the nine of uh, wands uh, kind of like comes from the depths of your experience. What I mean, it is uh, that uh, it is likely that at the start of of this week, you're gonna stop yourself for a second and you're gonna say, "Hold on a minute, you know why I'm even doing that thing? You know why why I'm even kind of talking with this person, knowing that." I won't be able to change their opinion. You know, I never was able to back in the day. So uh, what what is different right now? So that this is this is what the nine of wands is all about. Uh, redirecting your strengths, redirecting your, um, how can I say it? Your means and your resources in a things and directions that actually what something to you and you can alter their outcomes and that itself like I said is going to clear a lot of room and a lot of space for you to accomplish new things and uh, that leads us to the topic itself here which is the nine of pentacles uh that card here and so the topic could um manifest itself in a few ways okay now the first way that the nine of pentacles can manifest is a very milder way meaning that you're going to be exhilarated you're going to be happy kind of carefree doing things around seeing the productivity of your labor and in generally enjoying your week now the other way of manifestation it is really the substantial way of manifestation and in that particular sense the nine of pentacles represents a huge jump into or leap i would say into a development career wise or relationship wise and if that happens to you pisces you can expect that um 
throughout this week you can have an opportunity you may have the opportunity to start a, a dream job of yours or you are going to stumble on the big fish because this is literally how the card classified a big fish into relationships someone that totally corresponds to your criteria right and in generally like I said provokes you to jump into development but the week itself is to be very very refreshing and one more thing I want to say about those cards here for you Pisces it is that you are also going to overcome a lot of uh, uh, enemies okay that that comes from the uh, energies of the week or say you are gonna sense where the blow or the hit is gonna come from and you're going to have your guard before the hit comes from therefore you will be able to deflect a lot of say exterior influence that may negatively impact you know your career or your relationship one way or another however uh what is going to be really the problem throughout the week now uh, we talked about the leap into the development and uh, this is the challenge here the full card so uh the full refers to the new things uh overall and in that particular follow-up i does point that even though you are to kind of like uh have the opportunity to jump into development career or relationship wise uh, not much is going to be clear how to or where to that thing is going all right and that itself especially for those of you or if i was if i were pisces i would have been also having difficulty to overcome this car because, you know, I, for example, was striving for a security. And if something does not feel kind of like predictable enough, I don't go for it. I'm not a, a risky type of person. OK, and uh, that will be the challenge itself for you to kind of like uh, just take the leap of faith. OK, and just don't think way too much if that's going to happen or if this is not going to happen. You know, what if? something does not take place or what if this person does not say yes and etc etc it's just you have to kind of like uh, restrict your mind of thinking about those stuffs and only concentrate on the end goal this is literally what the fool does and that is going to be challenging for you another thing that it is challenging for you though is going to be uh, that you are going to have a lot of people around to a point where um, kind of like uh, it will be a bit overburdening in a sense of that every Everybody will try, you know, to get your attention one way or another. Everybody will try to uh, empathize with you. And at some point you may kind of feel burned out and at some point you may kind of feel that you do need some time in solace, some time into just catch up your breath, some time to be left alone with your own personal thoughts. Okay, so um, it's a lot to be overcome, to be honest. Uh, just if I have to give you a pure example of it, it is like, you know, a friend of yours approaches you and say, look, I have that great idea for a business. And you say, OK, so the idea is really great. Where are we are going to make it? What with we are going to make it? Uh, what we are going to make it with? All right. Who is going to help us? And uh, ultimately, whom we are going to sell it? All right. So all these questions are not going to have answers at the very initial stage of the leap into development in case the nine of pentacles manifest itself in uh, in its uh, in that particular version. And that will scare you to a certain point. But once again, the challenge is just to take the leap of faith in that case. Now, if uh, you do have the milder expression of the nine of pentacles where you're carefree, you know, you just enjoy your week and etc, etc. Uh, then the, the full card kind of points that you're going to have a second guess in yourself in a sense of that, you know, you may start thinking that you are kind of like becoming more and more irresponsible. It is like dropping off your guard. And it is like, you know, not taking the things as serious as they have to be taken. So in other words, you are going to concern yourself with that you are becoming more, more, more and more irresponsible. And uh, once again, uh, you should not give yourself to those negative thoughts, but rather, you know, enjoy as much as you can. Because in that particular case, the challenge for you is to accept that your life is an art. Uh, excuse me, your muse is an art and your, the art is your life as well. So enjoy the fullness of your uh, of your life, that your life is an art.
All right, so that leads us to the other card here, which represents the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy. And we do have an individual here, so King of uh, King of Cups. King of Cups is going to gift you with either of those things, okay? Either the King of Cups or, the, or that person itself is going to make you a very, very tempting offer. And that should come around if the, eight, if the Nine of Pentacles unfolds as a... Uh, uh, leap into development for you so a, a very tempting offer like an offer to get together with this person or an offer for a good job here and the thing with the king of cups it is that these people they don't do anything if they don't think that it is uh how can i say it efficient not efficient but let's say productive okay they're willing to invest but only if it is a, a productive endeavor so they definitely find you worth their while and the other way how that could be a gift here it is that this person is gonna lend you a helping hand completely unconditional one meaning that they're not gonna expect anything in return for it it's just because they like you or they love you or they kind of feel that it is unfair you finding yourself in that situation that's why they're just gonna come to your aid that is the second gift and the third gift is that if we take on the king of cups as a purely um how can i say it uh, uh eventful card then uh, the gift is that you are going to be completely in control of your emotions and it's highly unlikely that you are going to have an emotional breakdowns or outbursts as well for throughout the week so next one here is uh, how people are going to take on you what kind of impression you're going to, you are going to leave into people we do have the um temperance card and uh, it kind of points to a very balanced person actually now the uh, temperance card it it gives an impression into people that you are just doing your thing and you are taking without any complaints nor you are making any excuses to kind of tackle with chores with work responsibilities and with a uh how can i say it with a um uh a relationship endeavors all right and also people are going to see you very generous and with a huge portion of solidarity as well if you will so it's kind of like th this is another thing that is going to contribute for having so much attention from everywhere as the full card said because even though you may kind of share differences with someone else all right so someone does not like your thing you, you things you do not like their things as well these people are going to see that you although you do not like the way that they are having their life you do respect their way of having their life because this is what the temperance is known about huge compromises all right and that anybody has their own points of view and just because your points of view does not kind of match with their points of view that doesn't mean that their points of view is wrong and your is right it's just everybody has their own way of looking through the prism of life and this week people are going to see you very very respectful to how to what kind of decisions they made and what kind of choices they take all right and what kind of actions as well they have performed and uh, that will completely deprive your environment of conflicts and it's a very good week once again to enjoy yourself and the fruits of your labor and the last one it is the guidance that Saru is offering so that kind of relates to the full card actually this is the little brother of the full card or the little sister if you will so page of wands tells us only one thing here just be ready and open for everything new okay it's just when the new thing comes around that leap of development just take it guys I, there, there is nothing wrong with it right uh, and this is the way how you grow you can't grow in things that you already have maximized in your life right and uh, the other thing here that a little bit contradicts with the king of cups it is that the, the um, page of wands urges you to believe in your personal strengths um, or in your in your personal strength and capabilities in other words to see that you are far stronger than you think you are and far capable than you uh, think you are and another thing here with the page of uh, wants which is coming by a long shot door it is that no matter how ridiculous and preposterous a certain idea of yours is it does worth exploring 
So that being said, Pisces, this was your weekly general tarot reading, uh, February 24th to March 1st, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And again, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase a, a reading and upon purchase within the next 24 hours, I'm going to come back with you uh, to you via email, giving you details how your reading is going to take place. And uh, hopefully we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.